one Green Mountain Maniac with a complete build of the RF VHF Sniper. Uh, my killer bee. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Uh, if it doesn't work, at least it's entertaining to look at. Right? Well, uh, this is the uh, uh, seven element VHF quad that will be used in the contest coming up this weekend, the VHF contest. Uh, was a challenge. Uh, I screwed up a lot of the holes on the spreaders, so they are crooked, and I had a lot of shimming to do, and uh, uh, getting the elements so that they were equal distance, you know, from the top and the bottom and both sides, so they weren't all skewed and out of shape. Um, uh, matched up beautiful uh, at uh, what is it? One four four. Two zero zero, I believe, and uh, I've got a nice uh, about a 1.2 to 1 SWR, nice long gradual curve on the SWR linear curve for the plot, um, plenty of bandwidth, and checked it on the field strength meter, and she is fantastic. A whole lot of go go coming out the front of that thing, I'll tell you, Mister. Um, it's going up approximately 22 feet, uh, 22 feet on a push-up pole. I got to configure the push-up pole. Uh, I picked up two lengths of tubing. You can get these from Home Depot. They sleeve together. And what I do is if you look at this, heck of a lot cheaper than buying one. Uh, I cut a piece off the large end of the push-up pole the larger diameter slide it down over the smaller diameter okay and I cut two pieces off actually this is one piece this is the other piece I tack weld this in place that's the stop so I can rotate it uh, it will swivel on the um, on the center so all I have to do is walk over uh, and just turn it and it will swivel independently of the guy ropes important if you want to turn it without having to take it down and winding the guy ropes up on the antenna. Uh, easy to do. Okay, to get this thing matched, uh, it was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, what I ended up doing was, this is LMR 400 I'm feeding it with. This is, uh, I believe, nine turns. Nine turns on a two inch core. Uh, the outside uh, diameter of a two inch piece of PVC. Uh, this is nine turns of 75 ohm coax. This is exactly one quarter wavelength of coax on 144-200. Um, and this goes in and I connect it inside here. Uh, one, th one note uh, when you're de dealing with uh, 75 ohm quad shield, uh, you cannot solder the braid. Uh, of course the LMR 400 you can. So what I do, I solder the center pins, pin to pin, and I use, yeah, excuse this, I gotta clean this up, man. What a, what a disaster. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna find anything in that mess. As you can tell, I've been kinda busy. Uh, I use uh, just uh, these uh, blue crimp connectors. I, I uh, to wind the, twist the shield up as tight as I can get it jam it in both ends of that crimp connector and before I put the shields into the crimp connector oh here they are just these or you can use a, a wire nut um, hey there's nothing wrong with a wire nut if your house doesn't burn down it's good enough for an antenna that's my philosophy um, this stuff's great uh, be careful with this though only only apply a little bit in here inside this inside each end of these uh, jam the shield in each end and slam it down with a little bit of this uh, put in there what that'll do is it'll prevent the shield from oxidizing I've had uh, uh, PL259s uh, over a period of two to three years I've taken them apart and uh, I've seen oxidation inside uh, so um, 
I always do that as a kind of a cautionary type thing. But that is the Killer Bee. She is complete. Uh, front's over here. Back is over there. And she radiates all that way. So, uh, field strength meter. Uh, move out to the side. I wish I could demo it for you. But I'm exhausted. I have been going. I've got between these two antennas, between the 6 meter beam and this one, I've got, oh... 40 hours of construction and tuning into these and I just can't take the time. I'm sorry But I will give you reports and we are going to run video at uh, the VHF contest. So I will have reports for you then uh, Enjoy. I hope that inspires this inspires you uh, uh, Matching it can be a challenge uh, was going to do uh, tuning stubs which uh, You can basically uh, install tuning stubs on every single one of the elements. I was going to install a tuning stub uh, right here coming down to help match it. That was my last resort, but I was able to put it in uh, I was able to snap it in line with a piece of 75 ohm quad shield So I don't like using the quad shield on VHF as we all know higher frequency you go the more loss you get in the coax uh, That's 50 feet um, 46 to 50 feet of 50 ohm coax and that's how it matched up that configuration uh, 50, 45, 46 to 50 feet, somewhere in there of, of 50 ohm. One quarter wavelength, 75 ohm. Uh, nine turns for a choke on a two inch core. Jack it in and have fun. 7-3. Uh, good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching. K1 GMF.